What is up, everybody? JT Dangerous say once again, I am back to do my AEW and CEO Gaming's Fighter Fest 2019 predictions. Now, Fighter Fest is a collaboration between All Elite Wrestling and CEO Gaming's, and it happens this Saturday live. And get this, folks, it's a free event on Bleacher Report Live from the Ocean Center in Daytona Beach, Florida. Now, this card for this event is pretty damn stacked, if you ask me. We got eight huge matches, so I am very excited to do my Fighter Fest predictions for you guys this year, and I hope you guys do enjoy. Now, a record. Coming into Fighter Fest this year after our last AEW event, which was AEW's first pay-per-view, Double or Nothing in Vegas, we went 7-2. and two. So we're starting off AEW predictions on the channel on a good note, and I'm looking to keep it that way. So hope in this video we will continue. The winning waves are on a one pay-per-view winning streak. Hope in this video we make it two. Hopefully. Now this is the second video of a combined four video day on the channel today. So I hope you guys will be able to watch all these videos. Always show your support on the channel by watching these videos. Super kicking those like buttons and that notification bell. Commenting your picks and your opinions in the comment sections down below. Now this is your first time watching my channel today. Is a first time viewer. This is your first video. Boy, pick to go in if you're a huge fan of all elite wrestling and being the elite like myself. And you're ready for this Fighter Fest event in Daytona Beach, Florida. Welcome to the Dangerous Lions. I am JT Dangerous and welcome to the club because this club is just, just two. Whoop whoop again, thank you guys so very much. Now other than that, let's get right into these predictions. Let's start off with the first matchup. It is a triple threat tag team battle where the winner gets a huge advantage for all out. On one side, they are making their AEW debut. They are known as the Private Party. Next, you have a team that are very well known in PWG, Ring of Honor, and New Japan Pro Wrestling. And if you know their music, you know who I'm talking about. They are the team of Beretta and Chucky e. T, the best friends. And finally, you have the team representing SCU, consisting of the heavy metal rebel Frankie Kazarian and Scorpio Scott. Now, this matchup is definitely big because whoever wins this matchup will advance to All Out in Chicago on August 31st at the sold out Sears Center, and they will earn a first round buy in the tournament to crown the very first. AEW Tag Team Champion. So this matchup is definitely big if you want to have that first round buy advantage. So coming from me in this triple threat tag team matchup with a lot at stake for All Out and determining the first ever AEW Tag Team Champions. Ooh, I'm really, I'm really wondering what the Pirate Party is all about. They remind me a lot of the Street Profits in NXT. So if they're like them, they're going to be very, very popular. But coming from me. I'm going to go with SCU, the team of Frankie Zarian and Scorpio Sky to defeat the Private Party and the Best Friends. And now the next matchup. It is a very unusual hardcore match. On one side, he is the founder of CEO Gaming. He is Alex Gerbaley. And his opponent is AEW's version of Toriyanu. He is Michael Nakazawa. So coming from me in this very unusual hardcore match... I'm going to go with the CEO founder, Alex Gerbaley, to defeat Michael Nagazawa. And now the next matchup. It is a women's triple threat match. On one side, you have Yuka Sakazaki. Next, you have Rio. And finally, you have Nyla Rose. Now, this matchup is definitely important because at All Out on August 31st, they will unveil the brand new AEW Women's Championship, in which all these women are going to be fighting for. So this matchup is definitely big for momentum. So coming from me in this women's triple threat match, I'm going to go with Nyla Rose to defeat Yuka Sakazaki and Riho. And now the next matchup. It is a one-on-one -on -one showdown on one side. He is the president of Oriental Wrestling Entertainment. He is the legendary Shima. And his opponent is the leader of... SCU! He is the former Ring of Honor World Champion, the first ever Grand Slam winner in Ring of Honor's history, a multiple-time X Division and Tag Team Champion, and if you know his music, his old TNA music, you know who I'm talking about. He is 
Archangel and Almighty, Christopher Daniels. Now, this one's going to be a very intriguing one-on-one -on -one showdown. These two are very well known to each other throughout the, the wrestling business. Uh, Shima kind of trained Christopher Daniels in Japanese wrestling, and Christopher Daniels is kind of uh, the student of Shima when it comes to wrestling. And now, this matchup is definitely big. The last time we saw Shima was in that six-man match at Double or Nothing against SCU. But it's going to be very interesting to see what he can do one-on-one -on -one because at Fight for the Fallen in Jacksonville, he's going to be facing off against the best wrestler on the planet, Kenny Omega. So this matchup is definitely big for Shima. There is idea of Christopher Daniels looking to get a big win over his teacher and looking to prove that he's the better man in, when it comes to one-on-one -on -one in the wrestling ring. So, coming from me in this one-on-one -on -one showdown between two veterans in the wrestling business, just because Shima has to face Kenny Omega and fight for the Fallen, he needs a big win to gain some momentum. So, coming from me, I'm taking Shima to defeat almighty Christopher Daniels. And now the next matchup, it is another one-on-one -on -one showdown. On one side, making his AEW debut, he is Darby Allin. And his opponent is the former Ring of Honor World Champion, the former IWGP United States Champion, and the former NWA World Champion. And he's one of the four Executive Vice Presidents of All Elite Wrestling. He'll be accompanied by his beautiful wife Brandy, and possibly Pharaoh. And if you know his music, you know who I'm talking about. He is the American Nightmare Cody. Now, I'll be honest, I do not know a lot about Darby Allen. If you watch Road to Fire Fest, you saw his story, and it looks very intriguing. But this is a big, big match for him, and quite possibly his biggest match of his wrestling career. But he can definitely get it done, and he could pull off a big upset. There's idea of Cody coming off quite possibly his best match in his wrestling career at Double or Nothing, and easily the best entrance in AEW's history, destroying Triple H's throne to begin uh, the when he first came out by defeating his brother in a bloodbath against Dustin Rhodes and then we will see the Rhodes brothers once again tag team for the first time since they left the WWE when they will face the Young Bucks at Fight for the Fallen in Jacksonville in a tag team dream matchup. So this matchup is definitely big for Cody when it comes to momentum. So coming from me in this one on one showdown don't be surprised Darby Allen pulls off the upset but coming from me I'm gonna go with the American Nightmare Cody to defeat Darby Allen. And now the next matchup, and this is a one-on-one -on -one showdown I'm going to be very excited to see. On one side, you have the bad boy Joey Janela, and his opponent is the new IWGP United States Champion. He is Death Rider, John Moxley. Now, this matchup could definitely be match of the night, because these two find a way to always make any one-on-one -on -one matchup fantastic. Now... The last time I saw Joey Janela wrestle one-on-one -on -one was against Hangman Page at All In last September, but this is his first mat his first AEW matchup of 2019, and he's looking to get quite possibly his biggest win of his young wrestling career, and this is a big matchup for him. Then here's the idea of John Moxley coming in as the new United States Champion. He defeated Juice Robinson on the final night of the Best of the Super Juniors, and he will be also making his debut in this year's G1 Climax. So if you've been waiting to see John Moxley in quite possibly the biggest tournament in wrestling in the summer when it, come, uh, when it comes to New Japan Pro Wrestling, you're going to get to see John Moxley against some of the best superstars in New Japan Pro Wrestling, like, like Jay White, like Hiroki Goto, like Tomohiro Ishii, Tetsuya Naito. But just the fact that John Moxley they came out after Double or Nothing, attacked Jericho, attacked Kenny Omega, which that is the other big matchup at All Out, John Moxley versus Kenny Omega, a dream showdown that a lot of people have been waiting to see. So, coming from me in this huge one-on-one -on -one showdown between the Bad Boy and Death Rider, ooh, I wouldn't be surprised this matchup turns into like a street fight. I would love to see this match turn into a street fight, but coming from me, I am taking Death Rider, John Moxley, to defeat the Bad Boy, Joey Janela, in a banger. And now the next matchup, it is a very big Fatal 4-Way match. On one side, you have the hardcore uh, hardcore independent star, Jimmy Havoc. Next, you have the son of Luke Perry, Jungle Boy. Next, you have Easley, wrestling's best heel, 
Maxwell James Freeman, MJF, and finally you have the man who will be vying to become the very first AEW World Champion at All Out in Chicago against Y2J Chris Jericho. He was the winner of the Casino Battle Royal, and if you know his music, his old music, you know who I'm talking about. Man, Adam Page. Now, the, the build-up to this matchup is very kind of funny. If you watch Being the Elite, Hangman Page was on the phone with Matt Jackson, and he kept saying, I want to face MJF at Fighter Fest. But with the, the with the phone communication error, or phone communication kind of jumbled up on Matt's side, he heard he wants to face a boy. So Matt Jackson put the put, put the put the thumbnail of Hangman Page versus Jungle Boy. Then when Page saw that, he said, I don't want Jungle Boy, I want MJF. What is it going to take to give me Havoc? And then when Matt Jackson heard Havoc, he thought, let's make it a triple threat with Hangman Page, Jungle Boy, and Jimmy Havoc. And then when Page saw that, he said, I don't want any of them, I just want MJF. And then Matt saw he wants one guy, but you're getting three opponents. So you know what? Let's just make it a four-way four matchup between Jimmy Havoc, MJF, Jungle Boy, and Hangman Page. Because it, gets, it lets everybody get what they want. And everybody wants MJF. Because easily, he is easily the best heel in, in, in wrestling right now. He gets nuclear heat when he talks. And he is bad mouth Jimmy Havoc. He is bad mouth Jungle Boy. He ruined the coronation for the AEW World Title from Bret Hart at Double or Nothing. So he's got heat against Hangman Page. And MGF is kind of that guy. He says he's better than you. And he, with his connections, he like if you watch some of the B and the Elite episodes with Jimmy Havoc and Jungle Boy, he always calls. He always says, "I can get Cody to fire you just like that because he's my boy." But you can. He's just a perfect heel. Now, this is going to be my first time seeing Jungle Boy. I know he's the son of the late Dylan McKay, Luke Perry, if you're a huge Beverly Hills 90210 fan. This is going to be our, my first time seeing him. I saw Jimmy Havoc last year in Ring of Honor, and he was doing some crazy stuff with a staple gun and a picture, which and doing the paper cut thing with the poster, just paper cutting your... It was just... He's one of those hardcore styles I like, and I would love to see him and John Moxley one-on-one uh, -on -one for sure. But this matchup is definitely big for Hangman Page because he needs momentum. He's got the, quite possibly his biggest match in his singles career against Jericho to be crowned the first ever AEW World Champion at All Out, which is sold out. So this matchup is definitely big for the Hangman. So coming from me in this big Fatal 4-Way matchup, oh man, you can go either way. 4-Way matches are always hard to predict. you got a 1-3 in three chance you're going to get it right. But coming from me, because he needs the momentum, I am taking Hangman Adam Page to defeat MJF, Jungle Boy and Jimmy Havoc in a banger. And now the main event. It is a six-man tag team battle on one side. They are the new two-time AAA tag team champions, the team of Pentagon Jr. and Phoenix. And their partner is known as the Laredo Kid. And their opponents are representing the elite the, the Elite, consisting of the former AAA Tag Team Champions and easily the greatest tag team in the world today. And if you know their music, you know who I'm talking about in Daytona Beach. You ready for a... Uh Super Kick Party! They are Matt, Nick, the Young Bucks, and their partner is easily the best wrestler in the world today, the former IWGP Heavyweight Champion. He is the cleaner, and if you know his music, his old music, you know who I'm talking about. Oh, 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 oh,
He is the best belt machine, Kenny Omega. Now, this one's going to be a fantastic six-man tag team battle. Now, starting off with Pentagon Phoenix and the Laredo Kid, Pentagon and Phoenix regained the AAA Tag Team Championships uh, last Sunday in Mexico over the Young Bucks. So they're once again the AAA Tag Team Champs. And we found out their tag team partner is known as Laredo Kid, which I'll be honest, I don't know who this guy is. I know he's a mass wrestler, but it's going to be very intriguing what he can bring. This is kind of a old school PWG six-man tag team battle with, with Pentagon Phoenix and the Laredo Kid versus the Elite. They're going to decide you have the Elite coming in, the Young Bucks coming off their loss to Pentagon and Phoenix, which kind of was a foregone conclusion being they're going to be quite possibly the very first AEW Tag Team Champions, and they didn't really need the belt. And they're looking to gain some momentum for their huge matchup against the Rhodes Brothers at Fight for the Fallen in Jacksonville on July 13th. There you say you have Kenny Omega coming off his tough loss to Jericho at Double or Nothing and also getting attacked by John Moxley. He suffered a broken nose in that matchup, but he, he's going to get his match. At All Out, it's going to be Kenny Omega versus Death Rider John Moxley and quite possibly the match the wrestling fans like myself have been waiting for. So the Elite team is looking to gain some momentum for Fight for the Fallen in Jan uh, next month and all, all Out in August. So, coming from me in this huge six-man tag team main event, you already know this channel rolls with the Elite, so I'm going to take the Elite to defeat the team of Pentagon, Phoenix, and the Laredo Kid in a six-man classic. And those are my Fighter Fest 2019 predictions. Now, I want to thank you guys so very much for watching this video today. Comment below, who do you have winning all these matchups? Who do you have winning that six-man tag battle between the Elite and Pentagon Phoenix and the Laredo Kid? Who do you have winning between Christopher Daniels and Shima? Who do you have winning that triple threat tag team battle, which, which has a huge, uh, huge, uh, huge prize for the winner for All Out? Who do you have winning, who do you have winning the triple threat women's matchup? Who do you have winning between Moxley and Janela? Who do you have winning the fatal four-way between Havoc and... Jungle Boy, MGF, and Hangman Page. Let me know in the comment section below your picks and your opinions. Let's have a conversation about it. Of course, I'm always on to see your comment. Like it, and of course, reply right back to me because comments are absolutely always welcome on this channel. I do want to thank you guys so very much for watching this video today. Now, before you guys go, you guys can never forget to do this. That like button, comment, share with your friends. Of course, super kick that like button like only you guys can. Of course, you guys can never forget to do this as well. That subscribe button become part of this bigger and dangerous, dangerous alliance. And I will see you guys later today for my New Japan Pro Wrestling Southern Showdown Melbourne and my New Japan Pro Wrestling Southern Showdown Sydney. Later days, guys. And peace. All elite. All, all elite.